Local small business owners are weighing in after the U.S. Supreme Court made a landmark decision regarding sales tax. Good evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. The court overruled two old decisions in favor of 40 states. Now states can force consumers to pay sales tax when shopping online. News 10's Heather Good joins us now with more on what the move means for brick and mortar stores. Most people you ask will say, no, I don't want to pay more taxes, but a local business owner says this move will benefit his store and help keep others like it open. It's a landmark situation and is going to change the landscape of online sales. Brent Compton owns Pace Sutter Sports in Terre Haute. He's been in business 35 years selling sporting goods and footwear in this store and online. Compton says he's paid sales tax to the state from all sales, but up until now, companies without a physical presence in Indiana have not been held to that same requirement. In fact, I had a customer tell me just this last week that they weren't going to use us for their online store because the company that they'd been using doesn't charge them sales tax. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled earlier this week states can make shoppers pay the sales tax for online purchases. Before, if stores like Amazon and Wayfair did not have an office or warehouse in the state, they did not have to collect sales tax. The online stores are out of state, uh, oftentimes many states away, and with them not paying uh, taxes and being able to, you know, save 7 to 10 percent, on every single item, it adds up pretty quickly. In many cases, if you bought something online, you should have paid the taxes on your own, but may not have known because you weren't actually charged. The Indiana Chamber of Commerce reports this has resulted in a substantial loss of revenue for the state. The Chamber and Compton say the ruling will level the playing field. I'm hoping that the change happens really quick. Um, I'm just uh, a little uh, cautious in that I don't know that it's just going to happen overnight. I don't know how much uh, some of these places are even set up to change it just instantly. Governor Eric Holcomb is also expressing cautious optimism, saying he supports the move, but will be taking a careful look at the ruling to better understand its implications for Indiana. President Donald Trump is also supporting the decision, calling it a big victory. Others argue this is an issue that should be decided by Congress, not the court. Back to you.